My name is Ellen Gasky, and I'm the Executive Director of High Road Academy, which is a private separate day program known as a non-public school for students with learning disabilities. My um, counselor here at Hopkins was Dr. Gil Schiffman, who um, really became, you know, my mentor and person that, you know, I most closely listened to for advice, not only for course selection, but I took a number of courses with him, which, um, you know, I continue to use strategies, and really that formed the foundation for me of a lot of the special, special education work that I do. Also, uh, Dr. Paul Daniels was, was here at that time, and they were kind of the two um, who taught a lot of the courses. And also, Dr. Alice Koontz, who taught courses here in Orton-Gillingham, which is a multi-sensory program for students with learning disabilities for the dyslexic profile. That's the type of student that I primarily have in my programs are students with severe learning disabilities. Also, I, I admitted Dr. Larry Larson, who um, um, I think, I don't know that I actually ever had a course with, with Dr. Larson, but his office was right next to uh, Dr. Rosenberg in, in the old building. And he had this massive collection of bizarre ties that um, whenever you'd go in, he'd show you another tie that he had accumulated. Um, but that was something that really tickled me. But I remember with Dr. Schiffman, because he did a lot of speaking engagements and you know, did a lot of mentoring and teaching. And he used to tell us about when he first started and he was talking to a group of parents. He, uh, I remember talking to a group and he kind of had his hands up as if, you know, he was... He was the Sermon on the Mount, and he, he used that a lot, and we used to get such a kick out of it, because he obviously um, knew he was a little ahead of himself when, when he was doing that, but, but uh, they had a wonderful sense of humor and uh, really related, related and to uh, between you know Dr. Coons, Dr. Schiffman, Dr. Daniels. I really built up a, a repertoire of uh, really what we now call today in 2009 we call research-based methodologies at the time we really just knew that those were really best practices multi-sensory instruction for LD students and that really formed the foundation of um, all, all, pretty much all the special education work that I did then and continue to do now although you know I certainly have a lot more strategies that have been added to that over the years but you know, they meant a great deal to me. But also, the, their commitment to students with learning disabilities, it was more than just teaching us, um, you know, the content of, of the course. It was uh, obviously their commitment and their caring for, for, for these kids, which translated to us. We did a lot of summer practicums here at the university where we had kids. They mentored us and helped us. And after I finished my um, master's and doctorate, I continued to stay in contact with Dr. Schiffman for uh, a number of other projects and things that he, he helped me with. Um, at the end of his, when he was heading towards term, uh, his uh, retirement, uh, I started to work with uh, Dr. Michael Rosenberg, um, who is still here at the university, and he really guided me through my, uh, my doctorate. Uh, that long, painful, tedious process that it is, but we got to the end of it. You know, I just think it's very important to um, to kind of give back to something that you've been associated with that is of value. Um, you know, my husband and I believe greatly in supporting education, so um, you know, this is is one of the ways that you know I feel that I can give back to uh, you know the school that's really done a lot for me.